hi guys welcome to my next video in this video i'll discuss with you a command called grep which is a very useful command in unix basically grep is used to search a pattern in a particular file to demonstrate this i have created uh, two files as you can see the content of the file now if a uh, simple suppose i want to search a uh, pattern called line in a demo file as you can see it will display a line it returns a line uh, uh, which contains the pattern called line uh, so it's very straightforward uh, grep has uh, plenty of options uh, which you can choose and uh, are some of them are very useful uh, for example, suppose uh, if you want to ignore the case, like uh, if you are not sure whether you, uh, the pattern what you are searching is in uppercase or lowercase, in that case uh, uh, you can use minus i. So as I can show you here, see as you can see, it displays the line which has all the uh, lines which contains the word line in both uppercase and as well as lowercase uh, suppose uh, i'll just use the thing suppose if you want to display the line number as well in a particular file you can use option called minus n here it will display uh, as you can see third line fourth and fifth line sixth so it displays the line number as well let me clear the screen uh, and uh, just to demonstrate uh, not only you can specify any number of files here for example I can show a view like this and uh, now as you can see it this such a pattern called line in both the files demo file and also demo file 2 suppose if you want to search uh, uh, using the case sensitive then you can uh, remove the minus i option as you can see here it identifies the and repl uh, returns the line which contains that particular pattern uh, this is grep is a very powerful uh, command uh, one more option called min, uh, minus r minus r is basically recursive what it uh, says is search a pattern recursively in the from the current directory so to demonstrate uh, demonstrate this what i've done is i've created a, a directory called demo and uh, just quickly I'll show you what is the content of the see I have created one more called uh, demo file which is also the same thing I copied from the above uh, demo file so here what you can do is grep minus r line and since you are searching recursively you can use star so as you can see even it uses the demo file uh, in uh, such as the demo directory as well so this is very useful like suppose if you have a nested directory structure and if you want to search uh, a particular log or a particular error uh, in the logs you can use this uh, um, grep -r uh, so this is very useful for a day to day unix work let me quickly show you next one uh, there's one more called as uh, grep minus v option what it basically does is uh, it does the invert operation so what it means is search uh, uh, display a line which the whatever the pattern we are specifying uh, so it should not 
show that particular pattern. For example, let me quickly show you line followed by suppose if I put star here just to uh, search in both the file demo file and demo file 2 just note that it's not search demo directory because I'm not using the minus R option that is recursive option so here you can see there's not a single line which is returned with the uh, line uh, pattern but it return all other files. So it's basically saying, don't display the lines which contain that pattern, but display all the other lines. So this is a, just an inverse operation of the uh, normal grep command. Uh, so like this, there are uh, many other very important options are there in grep, which I think uh, you know, are very useful for you. For example, uh, uh, how you can use uh, in day to day work. For example, suppose uh, I'll show you. You can ps minus EAF, which returns all the process which are running in the current directory. Uh, uh, sorry, in the current mix environment. And here, you, what you can do is grab. Suppose if you want to know the uh, PID of the bash shell it, so itself. So how you can do is bash. See, it returns me 686. This is the PID of the bash process itself. So uh, like this, you, this is uh, like this you can use for any other commands as well. For example, ls search whether demo why see if uh, uh, as one more interesting thing is suppose if you want to search uh, if you want to uh, check whether the command is successful or not you can use your question mark suppose if I use the same thing ls suppose say xxx sorry xxx this file this pattern but since it's not there so it don't do not display anything check the return code it should be other than zero see it's as you can see it's the one it means the uh, there are no lines uh, uh, matched with that particular pattern that's why grep is failed so uh, I'm thinking of uh, doing a few more uh, videos uh, to illustrate uh, grep and uh, how powerful it is and how can how you can use the in your day-to-day -day, uh, Unix work and also it's very useful to uh, pass the Unix based interview uh, mostly uh, interview the people who are taking interviews uh, they ask some of the questions revolving around grep for sure okay thanks a lot Please subscribe and like the video and also share to your friends as well.